Welcome back to another episode of Da Bears Franchise on Madden 23. Um, last game we had a much needed victory against the Detroit Lions, one of our division rivals, of course. Um, and we are comfortably sitting right now six and four with Vikings hot on our tail. So I don't know why I would say comfortably, but whatever. Um, we have some a lot to do. We have Atlanta Falcons to get to today, but we have some weekly awards. Um, and it looks like uh Jonathan Grenard, the new monster of Midway. Four tackles, four sacks, one forced fumble. Just carrying the whole defense there. Love to see it. Um we have a prospect spotlight. Discuss a rising college prospect with the front office. Let's see what we got here. We may want to take a deeper look at free safety Damian Reedy. He's been standing out from other prospects in terms of his football IQ. Perfect. Let me take a look at his tape and the scouting report and see if he looks like a good fit. Now check him out. Damien Reedy. Free safety. Why would we need a free safety? We got Eddie Jackson. Like, okay. Scouting. Focus players. Let's uh, choose focus players ourselves, of course. Corner, Max Swanton, Swinton. Free safety, Damien Reedy. And left tackle, Jose Luell. Give those guys a couple... Super focusing. Uh, next is going to be key work, private workouts. So that's going to be fun. Um, but we got some coach stuff to do. Franchise staff. You know, we got we to gotta look at our uh, talent. Uh, select game. No, not select game day goal. Do talent tree. So we want to get more people here after school tutoring. So let's go ahead and just do this. This and then ooh, we're one away. So next week we can hit that. Um, and we'll just hit that next week. So and that will give us just more focused players and stuff like that to actually put on give them more XP, you know. Um we're gonna go over the roster real quick here. At quarterback Marcus Mariota and Desmond Rid Ritter Ryder. Ritter? Yeah, I'll say Ryder. Uh, as the backup, QB of the future, it says, for him. Uh, running back, they got Carl Daryl Patterson, former Bear as well, former Viking as well. Um, been playing very well. He played very well last year, so that's why he's pretty tough to be. Keith Smith here at fullback. Wide receiver-wise, I got Calvin Ridley. Um, Brian Edwards and Drake London, the rookie wide receiver. Um, also, Darren... Uh, Damari Bird down here, uh, but Calvin Ridley, uh, of course, it didn't put him through, so he's going to stay throughout the year, of course. Uh, Kyle Pitts at tight end. We have to watch out for Kyle Pitts at all times. Um, left tackle, Jake Matthews. Left guard, uh, Elijah Wilkinson. Center, Matt Hennessy. Right guard, Chris Lindstrom. And right tackle, Caleb McCary. McGarry? Yeah, McGarry. Uh, left end, they got Jerry Hughes Jr. At right end, Grady Jarrett. We got to watch out for Grady Jarrett. Uh, at D-tackle, Brandon Williams and Darius Fillin. Ooh, okay. Left outside linebacker, Arnold. Oh, that's I'm not going to be able to pronounce this, so I'm just going to skip it. At middle linebacker, Deion Jones and Rashad Evans. Okay, two really good middle linebackers. Right outside linebacker is Lorenzo Carter. At corner, A.J. Terrell Jr. We got to watch out for this guy. And also Casey Hayward Jr. Joe Hayden there as a third corner. Uh, looking like he's getting just more veteran presence over there with uh, Casey Hayward. Uh, Richie Grant up here at free safety. And at strong safety, Anthony Harris. Kicker is going to be in, uh, young, young, uh, young Ho Ku. Jeez, that was hard. And Bradley Pinion. We have an interesting offense to worry about and an interesting defense to worry about, but I think we can do this. 
Let's get our weekly strategy in here. Uh, looks like Marcus Mariota or Calder Patterson. Mm. How are they in rushing yards? They are better at rushing than they are at... Oh, containing the scramble, though. Wow, he's got fifth. So if you've got to watch out for him just running the ball in general. Ooh, fifth in passing touchdowns. Third in passing yards. Ooh, um, all right. We'll, we'll definitely stop them from throwing it medium. We, uh, we can't let them throw medium. Uh, and defense. Uh, looks like their defense interceptions is only 13th. Uh, so, and they blitz only 31% of the time. That's pretty high, but, um, I think we could definitely keep running on the inside. Uh, running against Grady Jarrett is better than anything, so. Uh, and let's see what we got for today. We want, we want the defense to continue what they're doing. I mean, we want another interception. No, that's a little greedy. Um, You know what? We will go for... Yeah, we'll go for an interception. I want the defense to have some pressure again. Uh, we'll do 24 less points. Uh, We want 300 total offense, and we want to win the turnover battle. Um, Turnover battle is something that we always want to win. Uh, means that we're... They're making more mistakes than we are, so... Of course, that's what we want. All right, let's take a look at our team. See if anything is going on here. Uh, let's see. And the defense is clear. Now we're going to go to the offense. Let's see how it's doing over there. Um, Looks like we are healthy for the second week in a row. I love to see that we're healthy in two weeks in a row. And we got some upgrades real quick. Um, Dominic Q. Robinson. All right, back up. Uh, we get him run stuffer. Just get his run stuffing up. He's he's been playing very well. I mean, block shooting up, awareness up, and tackle up. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, and Alex Leatherwood. Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll just give you some more pass block. Your pass blocking is atrocious. So we'll definitely get you more pass block. Uh, you're more of a running outside, uh, inside line, uh, inside offensive lineman Whew. but we'll get you we'll get you up to speed but without further ado let's get into this game against the atlanta falcons and the chicago bear all right let's get it looks like the green bay packers did win down there we are going to start with the ball first okay interesting love to see that Dante Pettis with the return here. Let's see if he can get some more yards. Got up to the 29-yard line. Let's see how Justin Fields is doing this year. We haven't been really taking a look at him. Thirteen touchdowns, eleven picks. Would like a lot less picks, but you know what? That's not the worst in the world. I will say. But you know the game plan. Run and run often. And we get shut down there. Dave Montgomery, a rushing yard, no rushing yards after one or rush attempt. We're going to run inside. I mean, we have to get the tone here. Oh, ran right up the guy, only got three yards. Unfortunate there. All right, let's see if we can pick this third down up. Third and seven. Cole Komet there, and can he get it? He got it. Easy touch. Easy first down. Of course, let's give him a power. We haven't done a power in a while. Let's, let's give him a power. I want that guy. Run up the gut there. Five-yard gain by David Montgomery. Had a good game last week, of course. 69 rushing yards, two touchdowns. I mean, he was just, he was there when we needed it against Detroit. Running up the gut again. He breaks a tackle to push up for another four yards there. Hey, if it's working, keep it going. That's what I'm going to say. 
Third and one. Here we go. Give it to David Montgomery. Just let him go through. Yep, there we go. Grabbing a man on his back. Going up, getting that first down easy. David Montgomery going to rush here again. Another inside run. Oh, and we get another four yards there. Six rushes already for 23 yards. Let's give him a break here. Get a get a pass play in here. Oh, right there, wide open. Darnell Mooney off the back foot. Had to come back for it. Good eyes by Darnell Mooney there. And we took one play off to come right back and run it down their throats once again. Oh, wide open field. First down easy. Up to the five yard line. That's I love to see that. Love to see it. Khalil Herbert in the game right now. David Montgomery taking a good need of rest after what he's been doing already this game. Khalil Herbert gonna run in here. And he gets the touchdown. Khalil Herbert. Good touchdown there. Setting this up for a 7-0. 10 plays, 72 yards. We played it. We played great. We played methodical offense. We drove down there and we got the touchdown that we needed. Now, as long as the offense and the defense are on the same page, we should have a good one. Let's see how Marcus Mariota is doing this year. 25 touchdowns, set nine picks, almost 3,000 yards. Woo! Mariota playing very well this year, man. Defense is going to have their work cut out for him. And we get a touch. Kyler Gordon there to start it. Carson to finish it. Seven receptions for 91 yards last week. So got 71 receptions, 770 yards, and five touchdowns on the year. They are definitely throwing it to him a lot. And he's going to run it there. And we can't get him. He gains 23 yards on the rush. We got we to gotta watch out for that. We can't let that keep going. That's just going to be bad news for us all day. And there we go. Sean Dion Hamilton getting a tackle there for only a one yard gain. Good on him to read that. Wide open and Kirkpatrick just needs to get up on him. Don't let him have that much space. We're going to send some pressure here. We're sending it in Kyler Gordon there. Amaro on the coverage there. And he still converts it there. Send another one. We're going to think like we're blitzing six here. We're going to pull back. And we can't get there. They are carving us up right now on the passing game. All right, cover one press, cover one press. Let's do this. And he's out of bounds, only gaining three on the play there. All right, bend but don't break defense, bend but don't break. Wide open once again, just we can't cover him. Man up, man up, here we go. Oh, and we can't get to him. Touchdown, Kyle Pitts, the tight end. The tight, he's having a great year and it's still going on. That's six touchdowns now for the year. 
I mean, what else can you say? Seven to seven here at coming down to the end of the first quarter. We have to give our defense some much needed rest. They got to come out there and play. Dante Pettis getting up there to the 31. Had a lane. And we're going to start it off by having a quick read option. Wide open there. Breaks a tackle against three. Good job, David Montgomery. You've already rushed a lot, but that will be the end of the first quarter there. Looks like they are stacking the box. Gotta watch out for that, but we're gonna run right through them still. Held that block 76, but we go forward some more. Up to a third and two. And you know what? We believe in our running back to get this. He will run it up the gut here again. And there it is. First down. Gets three yards on the play. 10 for 49 yards. Let's give him a break here. Let's see if we can have some a little bit of trickery. We're going to play action pass here. Oh, yeah, right there. Darnell Mooney wide open. Getting the first down. Good play. Good catch. Keep it up. Going right back to the run. I feel like a broken record saying how many times I've said let's go back to the run. But, I mean, it works. Keep it going. You know, three-yard game by David Montgomery there. We just don't want him to get hurt is the thing. And we keep utilizing him like this. He will get hurt. But when he's one of your best offensive weapons, I mean, what are you supposed to do? Jukes there. Gets another couple yards. Third and three looming. Let's see if we can pick this up. Throws it. Cole Komet can't grab it. Being covered by Deion Jones, I believe. And we will be settling for a field goal here. Kick is up. And it is good. 10 to 7. We will be taking the lead here in Atlanta against the Atlanta Falcons. No, it's not Atlanta. Yeah, it's Atlanta. Pretty sure. Kick is up. And it looks like it won't be returnable by 35 back there. Yeah, we'll have to settle for a touchback. Cover three. We gotta play some defense here, boys. Open backfield. And we are right there. Jaquan Brisker on Drake London. Uh, a decent matchup, but it's not the greatest. Could have had a better matchup, but we'll do what we got here, right? And we hit him, but we he jukes us out of the our socks there. Marcus Mariota is a tough person to stop from running the ball. We gotta watch him every single time. Wide open there. Can't do anything. There's two people wide open. No one covering anybody. I mean, just pure chaos. And we hit him. Fumble. Jaquan Brisker picks it up and starts to run the ball. And can he outrange him? He can outrun him. Jaquan Brisker going in for the touchdown. Let's go. Jaquan Brisker fumble recovery. That's what happens when Marcus Mariota runs the ball. We are coming for the hit. And he got crushed there. And that was the result. And the kick is up. And it is good. 17 to 7. Your Chicago Bears, baby. Let's give him the ball back once again. Still second quarter of this game. It's still early on in the game. Let's be real. But I think Marcus Mariota will think twice now before running that ball. Because we ain't messing around anymore. We're coming in to hit him. Yep, we coming for you. Oh, and he throws it right to Eddie Jackson. Who is going to run it, turn it all the way for a touchdown. Pick six, baby. 
That's back to back touchdowns by the defense there. Love to see it. First, we get a fumble recovered for a touchdown, and now we get a pick six by yours truly, Eddie Jackson, the free safety. Why does it want us to get another free safety? We have two good safeties there. Jaquan Brisker at strong and free safety Eddie Jackson. I know he's a little old, but you know what? He's a veteran, man, and they return all the way to the 30, but we're talking too much here. Just talk, stop talking and play the game. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wide open there, but Kirkpatrick is on him to stop him from getting any more yards. Still allowing 10, though. That's We definitely need another corner. Kirkpatrick cannot be our third corner anymore. Oh, and we're right there to break up the ball, at least, on Kyle Pitts. Third, second and, I almost said third. Second and 10 coming up. Patrick can't do it. Eddie Jackson, though, with the stop at Cordell Patterson. If he didn't stop him, that was going to be a touchdown. We're going to send a lot of pressure here. This is going to be risky, but we're going to send it. And we can't get a hit stick on them. Jonathan Grenard was in coverage there. He tried... I mean, good on him for trying at least, but. We get a hit there. We we should have ran up the gut like we were supposed to, but we hesitated and we let a couple more yards than we should have. Four yards to be exact. Should have been down in the backfield. John, um, Nicholas Morrow getting a the tackle there. They still got the first down, but. I mean, they're throwing really short passes, so they are two-minute warning. Man, a lot going on. We're up 24 to seven, though, within two-minute warning. That is a big turnaround. I mean, I can't believe that our defense is playing out of their mind right now, and we cannot stop Drake London. Johnson, get on him. Gonna pinch the line here. And we get a sack here. Raquan Smith with the sack. Love to see it. Alright. Team, we gotta do something here. It is a screen. And we can't slow him down. And he gets in for the touchdown. Didn't read the screen, unfortunately, fast enough. And. That's the result, a touchdown in the end zone. Well, they get the ball back here at half. So let's see if we can march down the field at least at minimum. Minimum. Score a field goal to put us up at least by two scores. Comfortably. Dante Pettis in the back. He's going to get a return here. Been doing great on the returns, so keep it up. And we get all the way to the 29. Let's start it off. David Montgomery can catch the ball, contrary to believe. He's not just a running back. So let's see if we can get it to him. Yep, there it is. We got wide open space. Run him over. There you go. And he got out of bounds. Good catch. Good run. We're going to empty the backfield here. See if we can get some more momentum here. Wide open. Nikhil Harry. We're going to do a quick quick hurry up. Same play. Hike the ball as fast as possible. Nikhil Harry once again. And we will take a timeout there. All right. No mistakes. No mistakes. Darnell Mooney beat his man. And that was a mistake. Running a hurry up. Darnell Mooney wide open. And he gets hit 
as he tiptoed out of bounds. Yep. So we're going to add on four yards. All right. We're in the end zone. We're in the red zone here. We got two timeouts, seven seconds, though. You know what? I trust the run. Trust it. Let's go. Run the ball. All right. Timeout at the one yard line. They want us to do that. We are not. I want us to run directly into them. And David Montgomery with the touchdown. Let's go with two seconds to spare. Kick us up. And it is good. We are in the lead 31 to 14 against the Atlanta Falcons here. And we're not going to stop. We're going to keep this up. And are they going to return this? They are not going to return that. Giving them two seconds on the clock. So we're just going to man. They're going to kneel the ball here. We're going to man up just in case. Defense is looking a little better now since uh, that first drive there. Um, getting two back-to-back -back defensive touchdowns to make up for the touchdown they allowed. Great on them. The offense is playing great. Um, we're not making mistakes. We're running the ball a lot, and we are just we are just making we're doing what we need to do. And Kyler Gordon there to start the tackle with Sean Dion Hamlin finishing the tackle. Defense has stepped it up big time since that first drive. Love to see it. Wide open, two people. And we can't tackle. He just we miss every single tackle. Big gain there for, I believe that is the uh, other tight end, if I'm not mistaken. Kyler Johnson gets him, but he picks up the first down. Drake London there, the rookie wide receiver, doing what he's got to do here. He's catching the ball, and he's just getting yards, man. Wide open, no one there. And we, Kirkpatrick saves a touchdown, stopping him at the one yard line. Woo. And they run it in for the touchdown. I mean, nothing we can do. They're on the one. I mean, can't do anything about that, unfortunately. And the kick is up for the extra point. So they are only down by 10 points here. Five plays, 75 yards in two minutes. They really, really kicked it into high gear there on offense after that first quarter. I mean, I said it's great. Keep doing what you got to do. I mean, you need to get a fire up under you. Do it. But we're still here to win this game. We've got a comfortable 10-point lead. And we're just going to do the same thing we've been doing the whole game. Running the ball. And we're going to read option these. Because the read option is very well good if we can get open. Just like this. But we will slide there for the first. Nope, we did not get the first, unfortunately. Third and one it is. Three read options in a row. But we're going to give this right to David John, uh, David Montgomery because there's no point in us running that ball there. 16 for 69 yards and a touchdown. He has rushed for 16 attempts. 
We're gonna run it up the gut here again, get some blocks, and we get three yards. 17 for 72 yards. Read option here, Dave Montgomery is tired. So as long as they do attack him, we should be fine. They do not. So he's gonna have to run it a little bit more, but he gets huge gain. Flag on the field though, unfortunate. And that's why we had a big open. Cody Whitehair getting a holding call. Unfortunate there. A little Herbert in the game. But we're going to get a little passing in here. Nothing too fancy. Nikhil Harry comes in and grabs that ball. Justin Fields' throw was shaky. Third string running back is going to get a little screen here. Hopefully he can catch the ball. And we get picked off. 54 read it. We had to throw it. Maybe we could have got something, but unfortunately, just Fields throws another interception there. Just, uh, the running back didn't even come go for it either. He just really much allowed it. And we get there. Jaquan Brisker was sniffing out Marcus Mariota, only allowing him to have two gear game. Good on Jaquan Brisker, the young safety. And we can't get a tackle. He breaks another. 93 finally brings him down. Jones. We got Justin Jones or, or Jonathan Jones. I think it's Justin Jones. And we get a hit stick on number 14. But it was Kyler Gordon and he didn't do a good enough job. Did not pop that ball free at all. Empty backfield for Marcus Mariota here. And we picked it. We had an easy read and we get another interception. Houston Carson getting the ball back for us. We have to go back to what we were doing before. It worked, it was working well. Passing did not work well, so we'll just run the ball. And we've got huge space. Huge space for a huge gain there by David Montgomery. Up to 88 yards. Read option once again. Dave Montgomery up the gut. We get some blocks. And we get another first down. Nope, second in inches, but pretty much 10 yards. I mean, it's second in inches. What else are we going to do? We're going to run the ball here. And he gets past it. He's still going on his feet. Gets all the way up to the... Thir in by the 30 20 rushes 118 yards by David Montgomery just doing everything possible there let's see if Justin Fields can recuperate the Tabor yep and he's gone he's going for it gets all the way down to the nine yard line Deion Jones there to stop him David Montgomery is still tired, and unfortunately, it's another run play. And he's going to have to run it. He gets cracked there, only for a one-yard gain. We're going to throw the ball here. Actually, we're going to let the time go out. End of the third quarter here. Let Montgomery rest. There we go. Dave Montgomery back in the game. Healthy after that little bit of time off. And if we would have got outside, we would have got it. But we gained four there. We are knocking at the door here at third and goal. Five yard. I don't think it's possible, but... Mm, nah. We're going to try here for a touchdown. All right, we're gonna read option this read bubble this and Justin Fields taking himself and he gets a sack unfortunately you know what I'd rather take a sack there than throw a pick because we can still get a field goal here meaning that it is either a it is a comfortable two possession game they have to score two touchdowns to even win by one point so I am a-okay with that pretty much the start of the fourth quarter here so defense has been playing all right i trust in the defense to do what they need to be done that one's not going to be returnable 
But if this Atlanta Falcons team comes out and does the same thing they did last time, we're in trouble. Oh, and wide over ahead. But good hit by Eddie Jackson on Drake London showing the rookie. Hey, welcome to the NFL. Nothing there. Kirkpatrick, Eddie Jackson did get the breakup. Good on him. Good read on that. And Kirkpatrick was also there. Maybe get a tip ball, but. And wide open there by Kyle Pitts. And Eddie Jackson still coming in to get a boom in there. Kyle Pitts. Hello. I'll show you Chicago's defense. And Drake London getting hit by Johnson. Drake London having a great game, honestly, if you think about it. I mean, he's caught pretty much every single pass that's been thrown to him. He just hasn't had a touchdown, I believe. 90 yards, yeah, see, he's having a great game. And we bottlenecking him into the middle there, and we only let him gain a four. Love the cutting out the outside there. That was a good, good move by Morrow. Carson up here gonna play some more defense but did not play a hard enough defense and we allowed another catch by Calvin Ridley there Calvin Ridley up to 71 yards after seven catches seven catches 71 yards man we will bend but we do not break nope we allowed a touchdown because Cardell Patterson juked us out of our shoes he juked us out of our shoes unfortunate there like I said, if it happens like the last time and they score really quickly, it's going to be interesting. They are now only down by six points. Meaning if we do not score a touchdown or a field goal on this drive, they will be a touchdown away from beating us. But if we can score a field goal at minimum, there's a two possession game. And we'll take a two possession. That means they have to hit a touchdown and a field goal so we will stick to the tried and true run the up the gut and we're gonna get four yards there 23 rushes 127 yards by David Montgomery David Montgomery gonna push through get all the way up to the third and one Gain of five there. And on third and one, what's the read? We're going to read option. That's the call. We got to read that left guy. He wants it. David Montgomery pushes through 62 to get to the first down there. 25 rushes, 137 yards, and one touchdown by David Montgomery. All right. Looks like we have a read option here. Look at like we're reading outside of the field. And he wants to go into the quarterback. So Dan Montgomery going to take it only for a gain of one. Woo! We got shut down there a little bit. Dan Montgomery is tired now. So we got to watch out for that. But we should be fine. And we get another close to a first down third and inches. Dan Montgomery doing everything in his power. And I think they know we're going to try to run here. So I think the best option is try for a play action here. Hopefully someone gets open. There it is. Tongue's getting open. Good blocks on the outside. And we get some yards there. 10 for 12, 155 yards and an interception by Justin Fields. Even if you get open on this play, you should have touchdown. Another play action just to mess with them. Wide open. The third string running back getting a receiving touchdown. I mean, he was open. No one was there. Of course, we're going to go for two here to put this game out of reach completely. And there it is. Easy read by Darnell Mooney. Now that puts us up by 14 points. And that should be the game. 
42 to 28 here with two minutes 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter we'll definitely look and see if any trades happen uh, after this as well just i want to see if anything was crazy going on and we get a good hit there by Morrow and Kyle Pitts. Unfortunately, he still picked up nine yards. That will be the two-minute warning. Time is running out. And we're going to send a safety blitz just to put more pressure on Mark Smariota. Wide open, Cardell Patterson there. Goes out of bounds, very smart. Almost 300 passing yards for Marcus Mariota today. Oh, and big man can't grab the pick there. Watts tried. And there it is. Getting a sack. It's Jonathan Grenard again. Getting the sack again, giving him five sacks in the last two games. Just killing it. Keep it up, big man. Keep it up. You're the new monster in midway for a reason. You and Raquan Smith make up this whole defense. And we can't get him, and we didn't get him before he went out of bounds, unfortunately, there. Kyle Pitts makes a great catch. And great yard after catch. And we can't. And Cal Pitts outruns Kirkpatrick. I mean, what can you do? Wide open there on the outside. Ah, it's heartbreaking. Covered, covered, come on. We got this. We can't let them score here. I know they have only two timeouts, but we cannot let them score here. And these out routes are killing us, boys. They're killing us. Kyle Pitts is in the zone, by the way. Just going to say. And nothing there. Tomorrow, good deflection. Whew. All right, my defense. Box him out. Wide open there by Cardell Patterson. We kept him in bounds, though. That's a great idea. Good job by the defense. And we can't get back there. The safety didn't go play it in time. Unfortunately, Kyle Pitts gets the touchdown there. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They still have two timeouts. Now, that is not enough. If we get the ball, we win. But they will be going for an onside kick. This is going to decide the game. Woo, this is going to be risky. This is going to be intense. Nail biting. All right, onside kick time. And the ball is it. And Pringle gets it and holds the ball. That is the ball game. Victory formation. And there you have it, folks. That is the game. Let's look at the stats here. 30 for 36 for Marcus Mario, 360 yards, three touchdowns, two picks. I mean, he played very well. Uh, Justin Fields at 11 for 13, 184 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. I don't like that, but you know what? Good, he got a touchdown. David Montgomery, again, 27 carries, 146 yards, and one touchdown. Cardinal Pesson at 7 for 44 and a touchdown. Uh, Tyler Engler, the other fullback, rookie, had one for one. And a touchdown. And then Khalil Herbert has still had one carry for a five yards on a touchdown. Receiving Kyle Pitts had nine catches for 87 yards and two touchdowns. Calvin really eight for 80. Drake Lennon, five for 90. Cardell Patterson had 455 and a touch. Darnell Money at four for 76. Um, and then 
Tristan Ibnir had the rookie running back, third stringer. Got a one catch for 29 yards and a touchdown. Good on him. Defense-wise, Jonathan Grimaldi had a sack, Raquan Smith had a sack, and Brandon Williams and Arnold Ikbenai, Ikbeniti, Ebukiniti, I don't know, had a half a sack each. Picks, Eddie Jackson and DeAndre Houston Carson, and then Rashawn Evans, the middle linebacker for them. And then we also had two, of course, touchdowns. One by Jaquan Brisker and one by Eddie Jackson. We didn't get any of our... We got a couple of our uh, things done. Sean Dion Hamilton getting an upgrade here. We definitely want him to be... Uh, let's give him a little bit of pass coverage. I think that will help him in a longer run. One plus the speed. What does that give him? 81 speed. Not bad. Okay. And Braxton Jones will just be upgraded by the We're gonna advance here. We're gonna take a look and see if anything, any transactions have been inspired. Okay, nothing too big. Um I mean essentially nothing at all big enough to be worried about. So Jordan Hicks on the Jets, though. That's an interesting one to give Jordan Hicks to the Jets. But that's gonna end it here. If you guys enjoy these videos. Please leave a like. Comment down below what you want, anything you need to want to see. Uh, any maybe team suggestions for the next one if we ever if we do a next one, um, or challenges for this one. Anything uh, or suggestions to make my videos better. Um, but until next time, guys, have a good.